Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a fascinating phenomenon that happened on New Year's Eve 2023, the largest solar flare since 2017. What is a solar flare, you may ask? Well, a solar flare is a powerful burst of energy from the sun that can last from minutes to hours. It is caused by the sudden release of magnetic energy stored in the sun's atmosphere. When a solar flare occurs, it emits intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. From radio waves to X-rays, solar flares are classified by their peak X-ray flux, measured by satellites in Earth's orbit. The classes are A, B, C, M, and X, with each class being 10 times more powerful than the previous one. Within each class, there are subclasses from 1 to 9, with higher numbers indicating stronger flares. The solar flare that happened on December 31st, 2023, was an X5 flare, meaning it was five times more powerful than the minimum X-class flare. It was detected by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which captured an amazing image of the event. You can see it on the screen right now. This solar flare was the strongest one since September 2017, when an X9.3 flare erupted from the sun. That flare was part of a series of intense solar activity that caused geomagnetic storms and auroras on Earth. So what are the effects of solar flares on Earth and us? Well, solar flares can have both positive and negative impacts. On the positive side, solar flares can create beautiful auroras or northern lights that can be seen in high latitude regions. Auroras are caused by charged particles from the sun interacting with Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere. They can produce stunning colors and shapes in the night sky. On the negative side, solar flares can also pose some threats to our technology and health. Solar flares can disrupt radio communications, GPS signals, and satellite operations. They can also damage power grids and cause blackouts. Solar flares can also increase the radiation exposure for astronauts, pilots, and passengers on high-altitude flights. Therefore, it is important to monitor solar activity and take precautions when necessary. The solar flare that occurred on New Year's Eve 2023 did not cause any major problems on Earth, as it was not accompanied by a coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME is a large cloud of plasma and magnetic field that can be ejected from the sun during a solar flare. A CME can travel at speeds of up to several million miles per hour and reach Earth in one to three days. When a CME hits Earth, it can cause more severe geomagnetic storms and auroras than a solar flare alone. However, scientists warn that we should not be complacent as the sun is entering a more active phase of its 11-year cycle. According to a recent study 1CC6, the peak of solar cycle 25 will most likely occur in early 2024 meaning we can expect more frequent and intense solar flares and CMEs in the near future. Some experts even predict that a solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or months. 2. C4 creating an internet apocalypse. So what can we do to prepare for such a scenario? Well, the best thing we can do is to stay informed and aware of the solar activity and its potential impacts. We can also support the efforts of scientists and engineers who are working to create better forecasting and protection systems for our technology and infrastructure. That's all for today, folks. I hope you learned something new and interesting about the 2024 solar flare. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.